Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us. Please allow me to introduce Dr. Elizabeth Sawick, Professor and Director of the School of Nursing. Hello to all our graduating students and your well-wishers from wherever you are right now. And if you're not in the Lower Mainland, I would invite you to type in the chat your current location and so that we can get a full sense of all the lands on which this event is taking place. And in that respect, I would like to first acknowledge the Musqueam people who join with UBC in creating an internationally celebrated place of welcome and learning here at Point Grey. The pandemic physical distancing that we're experiencing now gives us an opportunity to acknowledge not only the traditional unceded ancestral lands of the Musqueam Nation, but the traditional lands of the indigenous peoples from wherever you are zooming in and the other Coast Salish nations on whose lands our School of Nursing faculty, students and staff live, work, learn and practice nursing. So let me pause here for a moment for any of you who wish to may acknowledge and honor the peoples by naming them in the chat box or simply by speaking the name of your nation aloud in your own space. Thank you. We're here to celebrate the graduation of an historically noteworthy cohort of students. Part of your education actually took place while we celebrated the 100th year of the School of Nursing at UBC. And you're receiving your degrees during the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife. And we're celebrating your achievements in the midst of a global pandemic. We have seldom had a better or more urgent reason to celebrate the transition of a new group of nurses into the healthcare workforce. We're celebrating your success and all the hard work you've put in to achieve your degree, yes, but we're also thrilled because you are joining us as our alumni and our colleagues. We are so proud of the accomplishments of our entire family of graduates over the years of which you are now part of those graduates. And like family, we also wanna know what you're doing. No news is too big or too small. So please keep in touch through the avenues available on, for alumni on our website. And do remember, like family, you can always come back, maybe even for a graduate degree. The school has had a few successes of its own this past year, including in early December, the Board of Governors approved for the first time ever, a new building for the School of Nursing, which will go up at the corner of uh, the Northwest corner of the University Boulevard and Westbrook Mall. Because of its placement, the gateway to the university, this is going to be a statement building. This is our chance to achieve our goal of creating for the first time on this campus, a state of the art space that's designed specifically for nursing research, nursing education, and healthcare. We're going to share this space with the Integrated Student Health Services Clinic and Wellness Center, and with the School of Kinesiology, and a few others in relationship with the Musqueam, and at the leading standards of environmental sustainability in its design. As you might expect, this is a huge enterprise and an equally huge investment by the university in the School of Nursing. Your class helped with that as you voted to approve a small building fee to be added to the other university fees so that future students will help contribute to the space and the equipment to keep the school's education at the leading edge. Thank you for that. We look forward to moving to the new building in the summer of 2024, if all goes according to schedule. And if somebody has developed a successful vaccine for COVID-19 by then, and we're not still teaching online and working from home, that is. Seriously though, we, we hope you will always find a home in the School of Nursing, even when we move down the block a road uh, a bit. And if you're thinking about graduation, um, beyond graduation and thinking about those graduate education opportunities, Masters of Science in Nursing, Nurse Practitioner, um, PhD program. It might be able to take place in a brand new space. And now, in order to recognize each and every one of you and make this moment as special as we possibly can, since we didn't have the opportunity to have you walk across the stage in the Chan Center for your graduation, we've prepared this presentation as a sort of virtual crossing the stage. I will read the names of each of our graduates and I invite all of our guests to join me in congratulating our undergraduate class of 2020 in the chat.
Tiffany Alim. Sheila Allenbach. Molly Ango. Jacqueline Atkinson. Vanessa Barr. Quincy Batson. Garrett Blanksma. Brittany Bobichuk. Yasemin Bonyampur. Matab Borhani. Gwen Brockman. Madison Canard. Jaywan Choi. Megan Crofts. Kate Crowley. Anthony Daniela. Matthew Del Mundo. Chloe Derenbacher. Gerline Dollywall. Jasmine Dollywall. Rosalind Doak. Jenna Doré. Kaylin Duncan. Allison Maya. Kelly Fu. Jessica Ganadin. Tanner Yosund. Sheena Gordon. Ryan Gregoire. Harveen Gruel. Zihan Guo. Sam Harris. Sadaf Hashemi. Annie Heslop. Jennifer Hitty. Jessica Howardson. Ashley Holtman. Dakota Inglis. Ravina Jolly. Zach Johnson. George Kachkovsky.
Elise Keller. Blake Knoll. Sophia Knowles. Arabella Korczynski. Jeff Lamb. Caitlin Lavoie. Brittany Lawrence. Julia Lane. Adrian Leach. Jennifer Lee. Scarlett Leifer. Jesse Lynn. Julia Liu. Michelle Liu. Caitlin Longmere. Lily Liu. Brittany Liu. Marin McDonald. Leanna Mann. Olivia Maracle. Aaron McCall. Samantha Mee. Emily Mills. Courtney Morris. Sky Muller. Kelsey Murdoch. Trent Murdoch. Leah Nicholson. Su Han Ong. Shane Otto. Zoe Umpu Adams. Joanna Patterson. Pamela Patterson. Kirsten Paris. Amy Poon. Haddon Rab. Jasmine Redmond. Jenny Redston. Caitlin Reich. Ashley Reyes. Abby Rolston.
Dustin Ross. Shea Sanderson. Libby Scott. Amber Sierwar. Matthew Sherwood. Sam Song. Molly Starko. Tiana Stewart. Sarah Sutanto. Sophia Swanson. Evan Takaoka. Brianna Thalheimer. Jennifer Thompson. Alicia Tingling. Andrew Sang. Courtney Clark Timko. Pushp Kiran Ubi. Sophia Walia. Jack Wurschler. Angela White. Brianna Willard. Denise Williamson. Henry Wu. Sophie Yates. Cam York. Amanda Yu. Katerina Zaslavets. Claire Zeman. Agata Zinowitz. These are our graduates. Congratulations, all of you. Now I'd like to introduce the Associate Director of Undergraduate Programs, Elsie Tan, to announce the awards for this spring convocation. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. And I also wish to add my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2020 on an important milestone achieved during extraordinary times. Also a warm welcome to the family and friends joining this graduation reception. Before I move to the awards, I like to have a few words with this class um, because um, you have, chosen UBC School of Nursing in Vancouver for many reasons and we thank you for doing so. We thank you for your understanding and willingness to collaborate in continually enhancing our undergraduate program and also a very special thank you for your patience, flexibility and adaptability during the last half of your final term completing your studies in the midst of a pandemic declaration. While many programs suspended their programs, we, you, continued and persevered. For that, we thank you. 
you truly demonstrated the hallmarks of a nurse in the last weeks of your studies, thanks to your course leader, Lynn Nesson, the faculty team, and the preceptors. We made it, and you successfully completed your program. And so we're here to celebrate you today. So besides ensuring the sound delivery of the undergrad program, one of the best responsibilities in my role as the AD is to spend the donor's money in recognition of outstanding students in the 2020 graduating class. So it is my greatest pleasure to present to you the following four student awards. The first award, Helen L. Belfort Prize, is made possible by a bequest from the late Helen L. Belfort. This prize is $600 and is awarded to the student obtaining the highest standing in the final year for the degree of the BSN. This year recipient goes to Brianna Willard. Congratulations. The second award is the Dell and Dell Johnson Memorial Prize in Nursing. A 1,100 prize has been made available through an endowment established by Kathy Abohoy, who is an alumni here for BSN in 1975 and MSN in 1999. She's a retired faculty member of the School of Nursing at UBC. This prize was established in honor of Kathy's parents, Dell and Dell Johnson, who both deeply valued education and in memory of Kathy's classmate, Laura Lynn McBain, who achieved top marks in the BSN class of 1975. The award goes to the graduating student who achieves the overall top grade in the Bachelor of Science in Nursing program and made on the recommendation on the School of Nursing. The recipient for the Dell and Dell Johnson Memorial Prize is, in Nursing is Jennifer Hitty. The next award goes to two recipients, the Meg Hickling Prize in Sexual Health Education and Development. Two prizes of $700 each have been endowed by friends and colleagues in honor of Meg Hickling, an RN, to recognize for her 27 years of service to individuals, families, and the community as a sexual health educator. The prizes are offered to students completing the fourth year of a Bachelor of Science in Nursing who have, who have achieved high standing in at least three courses in community health and education, covering topics such as family studies, community health, women's health, children and childbearing, and principles of education. These awards are also made on the recommendation of the School of Nursing. This year's recipients are Sheena Gordon and Henry Wu. Last but not least, the Undergraduate Nursing Society Leadership Award, totaling $1,350, are offered by the Nursing Undergraduate Society to graduating students of the May cohort who are dedicated to the nursing profession and have strived to improve the school life environment of UBC nursing students through their volunteer activities. Candidates are nominated by their fellow students through the scholarship committee of the School of Nursing. The three recipients for the Nursing Society Leadership Award are Haddon Rabb, Brittany, Brittany Lawrence, and Molly Ango. Congratulations to all the seven awardees. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. And now I would like to invite the following faculty speakers to share their thoughts. Jill Mayhee, Cheryl Segarik, Elizabeth Bailey, and Gertrude Boschma. Um, good afternoon, um, 220 graduates, uh, family and friends. What an exciting time for everyone. I know some of you probably thought you'd never see this day, but I had, um, I had a different uh, take on um, your class. So persistent and passionate um, group of individuals. Um, so I think the main thing I'd like to share with you is that it's been such a privilege to be part of your education and learning journey. I know so many of you were excited the first um, time that you gave each other your vaccines, uh, influenza vaccines, and that I just remember the bright sparks um, in your eyes when you 
saw your first new newborn and how accomplished you were after you did the uh, so many bath demos and patient teaching and how successful you felt. But I think that one of the things I'll remember for forever is, is how um, compassionate and um, how much empathy and the building of your relational um, practice was in your mental health and uh, addiction practice. Um, you've been an amazing group of students to watch grow and flourish and mentor. But as you venture forward, I know some of you are feeling apprehensive and somewhat nervous and maybe not quite practice ready. But to quote our famous Florence Nightingale, how very little can be done under the spirit of fear. So remember, you are prepared for this day. We've made sure of that. Stand proud, stay curious, ask and speak up loudly by le leaning on your friends and families your professional bodies and the school of nursing, you'll always have a soft place to land. So I bid you farewell as BSN nursing students and look so forward to seeing you in the clinical world as friends and nursing colleagues and hopefully um, master students. Um, so celebrate and cheers to all of you. Cheryl? Sure. Hi, everybody. Um, wow, I, I would just like to say that watching those student photos transform to graduate photos reminded me that together we have come full circle from your first foray into nursing at BSN orientation to now graduation 18 months later. Normally, I would be wearing my regalia in honor of such a special occasion, but Unfortunately, mine is locked in my office on campus, so this is the best I can do. I hope you can see that. <laughs> I just want to say to you, all of you, I am so proud of you. As you enter the world of professional nursing, be proud of what you've accomplished. Celebrate your success and have confidence that you are ready. Know that you will, you can, and you will make a positive difference in the lives of others. And as we've discussed so many times before in 300 and 345 and 350, well, what you do is important. How you do it, the professionalism, the caring and the compassion you bring to your work as a nurse, that is what people remember the most. So as I said many times to you as well, you are the future of nursing. Because of you, the future is bright, especially in these challenging times. And so we are in capable hands. So congratulations to everybody. It's been a privilege working with you. You've been an inspiration to me as a teacher as well. And I wish you all the best in your careers. Stay in touch. Thank you, Cheryl. Hello, class of 2020. Uh, what a ride this has been. I too don't have my regalia um, to wear in honor of you today, nor do I have a fun picture like Cheryl, um, but know uh, that I absolutely celebrate all of your tremendous accomplishments. As you know, I started at UBC in 2018 alongside all of you. So while you move forward in your nursing careers, you will always have a special place in my heart and in my memory. As the very first cohort of nursing students, I had the pleasure and the privilege to teach at UBC. I have been consistently impressed by your curiosity, your dedication, and your compassion. More recently, I am truly humbled by your courage for stepping up in these challenging times. And I know your patients and uh, your patients and your colleagues will benefit from your skill and from your kindness. My advice to you as you enter this next phase of your nursing career is simple. Just bring your whole self to the work and you will do great things. So I wish you all the very, very best and congratulations on your graduation.
Thank you, Elizabeth. Gertie. Hello, everyone. It's great to hear and see you all and your photos coming by. It is indeed under very special circumstances that we celebrate your achievement of obtaining the baccalaureate nursing degree. Just great that we can celebrate this important moment in time that you are joining the worldwide community of nurses. Congratulations to all of you and wish you every success in your career. Thank you very much, Gertie. Thank you, Cheryl, Elizabeth, and Jill for your warm words to the graduating class of 2020. In closing, I'd like to say again, congratulations to the 2018 cohort, but now the 2020 grads. We are most proud of you on your accomplishments. I'd like us to also take a moment to acknowledge the families and friends who supported the 2020 grads in their journey to becoming a nurse. Well done. I also like to acknowledge the faculty who have continually given more than, than we asked, our practice partners who continue to support our students to becoming excellent nurses, and a huge thank you to Heather Swallow and Rana and her team, Vladimir and Kelly, for making this session possible for the school to not only celebrate the grads, but also for faculty to celebrate their achievements. To you grads of 2020, I wish you all the very best in your future nursing and life endeavors. And remember us, remember each other as you embark on your nursing journey, be safe. And in the words of Florence Nightingale, I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took any excuse. All the best in your journey. Bye everybody. Hi everyone. Um, Rana here, and I just want to take a couple of seconds to open up the floor to you because when we learned that we couldn't have a reception for you, that was probably the thing that made us the most sad because we love seeing you in your regalia at the TAN Center and later. So um, if you wish to take a few seconds to verbally address the virtual room that we're all in right now. At the bottom of your screen, there's an option to raise a little blue hand. Uh, please do raise your hand and Vladimir will one at a time permit you to talk and you'll have an opportunity to address not just your fellow peers that are here with us, but also all of us on faculty and staff who've been looking so forward to this day for you. And, and that offer is also open to any family who wish to be able to congratulate their loved ones in person, but can't do that due to our current safety guidelines. Hi, this is Jim and Sylvia. We just want to pass on our congratulations to Zoe for her graduation from UBC and also our heartfelt thanks to UBC for uh, uh, making it possible to, uh, for her to get her her degree. And uh, congratulations, Zoe. Thank you all. Thank you, Jim and Sylvia, and congratulations, Zoe. Julie, I think you're up. So all you have to do is unmute. Hello, can you hear me? This is uh, Julie Corbett and Jeanette Swanson. And we just wanted to wish Sophie Swanson every success in um, passing through these four years of her nursing degree at UBC. Um, she comes from a family of nurses and doctors, and I'm sure that she'll continue in her endeavors and do very well. And we just send our love and our congratulations. To congratulations, Sophie. Sophie, and all the best. To Sophie Swanson. Did you hear that okay? <laughs> yes, that was perfect. Thank you, Julie and Jeanette, not just for supporting Sophie, but also for logging on and celebrating with us in this wonderful new world. And congrats again, Sophie. Any? I'll... Ah, there we go. Um, Claire, you'll be up in a second. Feel free to unmute yourself when you're ready. <laughs> Tell me when you can hear me. You're on. Okay, so um, I just want to say thank you so much first to um, my fellow peers for just 
the amazing experience I had, all the amazing learning, um, just all the vulnerable moments, and just the same to all the wonderful instructors, Elizabeth Bailey, Jill, Cheryl, you, Rana, just the whole UBC family. And I just want to thank you all for everything. And just thank you for putting this on because it's just a little piece of sweetness in a weird time. So I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you for your kind words, but most importantly, congratulations. I don't see any more raised hands, um, so I'll just take two seconds to do something in the chat while more people decide that they would love to address the room. I'm posting inside the chat for all panelists and attendees to see the instructions on how to get to the Zoom after party. Um, we just really wanted to make sure that there was an opportunity where you could only not only hear each other and hear us, but also be able to see each other. So this is completely informal. There is no moderation. There's no program. There's no agenda. We've just created a Zoom room for you to actually be able to see each other because this is a meeting. And you'll be able to have your cameras on. And the other thing I wanted to share is I know many of you are celebrating um, either on your own or with family and friends and we want to see how you're celebrating and we want to be able to include that in our memories if you'll let us so i've shared the twitter handle for our ubc nursing account that our wonderful heather swallow manages and if you happen to have a picture please tag us in it and we would love to see how you're celebrating today so those are the only business items. Thank you so much for everything you did during the program. And thank you so much for being nurses and taking care of all of us in the future world. I will turn it back Anna, to Professor I see, Elsie Tim. Uh, Anna, oh, I sorry. See, uh, one more uh, raised hand. Okay, sorry. I My participant view went away. Um, and then I can hear status online. So I'm sorry I can't see your name, but um, I would love to hear from you. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and unmute it's, you. It's oh, less, there you are. I think the name is Les Korczynski. If you want to unmute, you can yeah. speak now. Again, it's Bob Undido and Burnaby, the entire class, and Arabella Korczynski. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry, there were so many technical difficulties, but we appreciate you being here. Any other raise hands? The Zoom meeting will be so much easier for people who do have video capabilities to just informally hang out. Sarah, you're up next. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Um, um, um. My name is Sarah. I'm someone from the cohort. Um, I wanted to thank everyone in our cohort for being such an amazing group to work with and our future colleagues. And I also wanted to give a big shout out to Sam Song, um, George, I can't say your last name, George and Kieran for being amazing friends and uh, wish you guys all the best in the upcoming years. Thank you, Sarah, and congratulations. And thank you for recognizing your friends because they are awesome people. You all are. Lorraine, you're up next. This is just a really quick uh, hello and congratulations and love and a virtual hug to Sheila. We are in Switzerland and uh, it's a quarter to 11 at night now. And you guys will all be celebrating and we'll be going to sleep. We love you very much and we're so proud of you all. It just looks like a wonderful, wonderful class. Thanks for letting us join in. Thank you for joining us all the way from Switzerland, Lorraine, and congratulations, Sarah. I think that's the last hand, but we still have a little bit of time if anyone else wants to contribute. So I'll just give like a 10 second silent pause to the pilot meeting. Thank you. Again, um, I'll recopy so it's close. The after party instructions in the chat. The Twitter handle is at UBC Nursing. And Elsie will formally close our program now. Thank you so much, everyone.
Thank you, Rana. I think I officially had closed that session. I had not realized. So, <laughs> so again, in closing, um, heartfelt congratulations to the 2020 group um, and also to the families and friends for a very successful journey um, to the 2019 cohort. Um, and, sorry, 2018 cohort who are now the 2020 grads. Um, be safe um, and be well as you embark on your journey. And we look forward to some of you, if not all of you, coming back to our School of Nursing. Remember us as we will remember you. Thank you all.